It's Tammy with Real Southern Woman. We are live, headed to Fort Oglethorpe. Chickamauga. Chickamauga, I'm sorry. Fort Oglethorpe is where the kids were born, and Chickamauga is where Chris grew up after he was, uh, how old? Thirteen. Thirteen. He lived up on uh, Lookout. Lookout Mountain. If you've ever been to, what's the name of that waterfall? Cloudland Canyon. He lived up there on the mountain until he was about 13. So he was up in the boonie loonies. So then they, when they were 13, they moved to Chickamauga. He anyway, his mother fell this, within 24 hours of my mother's fall. She fell um, in his sister's kitchen. She was taking care of his sister because she had just had teeth pulled. She fell on a tile floor and broke her humerus bone in her arm right up at the socket where it goes into the socket. Broke two pieces off of it. the shoulder, but it was actually her arm bone. Well, because of where it's located, they won't do surgery or anything, so they're waiting for it to heal. She was walking up the stairs a few days ago, missed the top step, and fell again. Hit her head. So, we're headed to Chickamauga to see Chris's mother. Um, the mom is doing good. I have a meeting set up with the facility, the, the guy that runs it, the head nurse, and the main nurse tag for Thursday morning at 10.30. I'm going to have Chris go with me pray that I get some stuff done. This morning, they're treating her like a queen since I've raised my cane and set up a meeting. They've already given her a bath. I was on the phone with her a while ago, and they were serving her a chocolate sundae. He even came in from the kitchen and asked her, did she have any tips for the kitchen? Now, that's a blessing, but it's not a blessing that I had to raise mortal, a bad word, to get anything done, okay? And it's not, it's not good that I had to set the meeting up. But maybe because I'm setting this meeting up, things will get done there, and not only Mama will be taken better care of, but also the other residents. Amy's in the back seat sleeping. Her and Will went to uh, see her back there. She looked all gorgeous this morning with her cutesy top that she got at Bell's. It is a, uh, what's the name of those clothes that cost so much? My, Amy, what's the name of that top? What? Crown and Ivy. If you didn't see her in my video this morning on Connor Valley Cooks, go back and look how cute that top is. We never spend really over $20 on just about anything, but I bought that top for her because it was gorgeous on her. And boy, is it cute. And it was not on the sales rack. Anyway, guess what I did on my way today? I painted my nails. I took your advice. One girl told me one reason my nails weren't drying was because I was using my nail remover and then turning around and paint my nails. When the nail remover was still really on my nails, I should wash them good with sudsy water. Well, I didn't do anything but just paint them today. And I had bought some little stick things um, at the dollar store. I'll show them to you. And I put designs on them. And if Chris's mother wants me to do her nails, I brought more colors. But they have these, y'all, at Dollar General. This is the uh, the glittery one, and then I have a white one. And I'll show you what I did with them after I painted my nails. I'm going to do a top coat, but I'm going to wait till I'm on my way home so that these nails dry really well. I'm going to show you how cute they are. Chris is driving like a wild man. Look. 
they're purple, and then I used the white, and I put a few little things in it, and then I used the uh, glitter, and you can't really see them good, but they're really, really cute. Cute! I did it myself, saving money, right? Anyway, we're on a car ride. It takes two hours to get to Nan and Papa's. And um, I'm bringing them my leftover vegetable soup that I made this morning. And we're also bringing them our leftover Benefield chicken. So they'll have a couple of things in the refrigerator to eat this week. Nana fell three weeks ago. So she's really already in therapy. And she's doing better. But it's high time we got our butts up here to see her. So, I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Y'all won't talk about anything while I'm on here because I'm in the car for two hours. And I can see your comments. Thanks, Stephanie, for saying I look nice today. I got my hair kind of tied up on top. I guess I'm going to let it grow out some for Chris because he's my man. And while I can, I may as well, right? Now that he's going to be with me every day, I need to look pretty for him. Right, Chris? He got up mowed the grass this morning. Oh, May cleaned my bathroom thoroughly, straightened up her rooms, and Amy mopped my floors, swept and mopped the floors, and cleaned their bathroom. Um, so we got a lot done today. Monday is clean the house day. Tuesday is wash the sheets day. Um, we need a schedule, you know. We really need a schedule. It's funny because Chris's mother said the other day, how do you like being retired with Chris? Don't you like not being on a schedule? And I was thinking, well, some may like not being on a schedule. But Chris and I both really like schedules. So we even like our little menu because we know what we're going to eat. We know what to cook. And when you got a menu, you're more apt to go in there and cook what you're supposed to. And if you don't have a menu, you're like, what am I going to eat? Well, I guess I'll have this, or I guess I have that. Um